And then I think... Yeah, this is the part where they let you actually hit it. And you gotta hit ten of them. You can keep doing this for forever if you keep missing, but... It's gonna not be cool. Now, here's a cool thing to notice. This will help you later if you want to complete everything. He'll stop moving, like, right when... Right when he can hit the ball. Let's... Whatever. Watch. You see how he, like, fidgets and stuff? See how I swung? If I didn't swing... What? Oh my god, what the hell? Stop showing that. You know, I don't care. Oh, actually, maybe it doesn't matter this time. Um... Yosh. Like, when you're doing the real thing, you'll see him, like, uh... Stop swinging his bat around. See how he did, like, right before I hit it? That's when he's, like, suddenly focusing. And when you play, like, even the actual minigame, he'll do that, and it's, like, really easy to... It's really easy to just keep hitting the ball exactly where you want to go every time and and win that minigame that way. Just pay attention to what he's doing. I think I'm messing up here, actually. I'm hitting it a little too early. Good. Now, I mean, this is so boring. I wish you could just skip out of this. Because whatever. I, I honestly don't care. Man, see, I, so I gotta do it two more times. Isn't this ridiculous? I think I used to... Dondake! What? <laughs> Dondake! Here we go. I think I just hit grounders. Yeah, I think if you just keep hitting grounders, then it, for some reason you can skip it easier by pounding on the buttons. Yeah. Here we go. One more. Yosh! Kiri's standing going, Yosh! Five minutes. Okay, uh, so that's my phone, so I'm going to pause it here and see if it let me do it. Let's see. Okay, so I'm back. I answered the phone, and then, uh, guess what happened? Like, I tried to go ahead and keep recording, and, uh, my Audacity crashed. And Audacity is the program I've been using to... Get on my freaking thing. Has been, I've been using to try to, uh, record these, and... It keeps crashing on me and going like, oh, I don't know what to do. And then it dumps out all these friggin' temporary files I've been dealing with for an hour, like a million hours. And it didn't work. So I had to play back to this point. And I saved right before, luckily. But man, that was annoying. Anyway, so he's like, hey, they'll take care of you. They'll show you what to do there, kid, Akira. And you know, that's great. They're making new friends. And then you go to go into the morning glory. And Haruka shows up and she goes, guess what? Something horrible happened. And poor little Akira has gotten... He fell down and hurt himself, and then his, his mom shows up, and she's like, oh, why are you beating up my kid? You know, I told him not to play baseball, because it's too dangerous, and then, like, you know, it looks like things are really bad for you, and he's like, I'm going to kick him out of here, and then, like, a, the kid suddenly goes like, you know, no, I'm really happy to have been playing, and I have been bullied, though, guess what? It's by the teacher's kid, and so the mom ends up just yelling at the teacher instead of going like, you jerk, what kind of school you got here, you jerking on, and then, you know. Akira's like, goodbye, Koji, and Koji's like, yeah, whatever, kid. You know, Kiryu's there going, like, why am I not, like, drunk or beating up Yakuza right now? And then, uh, I'm just gonna tell her I'm gonna go. And, um, you can sit, choose the first one to do stuff. And my cat's going crazy now. Hey, meow, what's going on, cat? And then, uh, so he's like, well, I'll see you guys all later. And so now you finally go to Tokyo, right? I mean, you're all dressed for it and everything, right? Right? You get your ticket. And then, nope. So they try to go, these dudes show up. These guys have been in all three, all, the three previous games. Akimoto and uh, Mizuki. And, like, he's a, he's a nut. He's trying to, he's, like, tried to kill her and himself, like, a bunch of times. And she lies to him all the time and cheats on him. Well, it's not really cheating. I mean, she's a cabaret girl. She's, she's kind of like a step above a prostitute. And, um, anyway, I'm going to ignore them. Now, if you're playing the story mode and you want to do everything, that's your only chance to do their side mission. And there's other side mission, like at least one other side mission that depends on them. I think it's only one. But uh, that's the only chance you get. So you'll probably want to do that. Um, unless you've played through the game. And you can always go into premium adventure mode. After you play through the game, you get this premium adventure mode. 
that thing will always let you do everything. All you gotta do to do that one is have the right time of day and be walking around with Haruka and it'll still happen. So, you know, if you miss stuff, this time it ends up not being so bad, you know. Um, in the other games, it ended up being like a nightmare. You'd be like, oh, I missed a missable thing and I might as well just freaking turn the game off. So here we go. Do do do. Yeah, my cat finally gave up ripping my bed apart. And going like meow all over me. Okay, here we go. Um She tells you to wait for the second floor, that's a hint. Now the second floor, that's where if you started the Akimoto slash Mizuki side quest, it, they'd be there, but they ain't there because I didn't start it. So, um you just go to leave. Man, you dumb chick. And, um... There we go. Oh my god, I'm done shopping, so let's go. And, uh, Akibodo and Mizuki never show up because I never did that event, so... That was kind of, like, pointless. So, thanks. Oh my god, I just saw a copy of Dao Fung sitting over there. I should show you guys that horrible game sometime. Um... And here I go. So, I'm finally off. I'm gonna send her off at that monorail station... She's going to go, and I'm going to be like, oh, it's time for me to go to Tokyo. So, you know, finally done babysitting these kids. Right? 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 <laughs> if you thought, I mean, like, here we go. You're going to see what I mean in a second here. And then I go to leave. I'll go there. And she goes, okay, well, goodbye. That's cool. And then, uh, this guy is freaking hilarious. This, I mean, this guy is really hilarious. Look at this dude. Does it ever do like a... Hey, look at this guy. That guy's name is Mac Shinozuka. And he's obviously half black, half Japanese. And for some reason, he speaks with like a super American, like, Hey! You know, Konnichiwa kind of accent. Even more than mine. And so he shows you how to make a blog for some reason. He wants you to blog about stuff. He's, like, looking for the greatest thing, the greatest photography and everything ever. Um, when you click on the R3 button, you go into this, like, first-person mode. And you can use it to, like, stare at chicks. And you can go, get away from me. Or you can, like, use it to stare at, like, Mac, and he'll, like, look, he'll go, like, hey. <laughs> What's up, Eddie Murphy Jr.? Man, you look at this? 